Welcome to another episode of One Wingspan Above, where we discuss anything to do with ground effects. In this episode, we get into how ground effect decreases drag. We'll look at what interesting things some home builders are creating, and we have an update from Regent and their sea gliders. G'day, Paul Dutch here. In the previous episode, we talked about the chord dominated ground effect which is part of the effects where lift increases where a wing gets less than one chord length away from a surface. We discovered that drag starts to decrease when less than a chord away from the surface as the force factor that gets divided into lift and drag turns more vertical. This means that lift increases, but also that drag decreases. This episode will discover span dominated ground effect, where drag decreases even further when a wing comes closer than one span away from the surface. The span is the width of a craft from wingtip to wingtip. In free air, the air will tend to flow from the underside of the wing to the low pressure area on top of the wing. Remember that from the last episode that even with ambient pressure under the wing, the wing still generates lift. There doesn't need to be a high pressure under the wing, but air will still try to flow to the low pressure area above the wing. This specifically happens at the tips of the wings, and because the wings are moving through the air, this causes a spiral or a vortex to appear. The energy to make this vortex is not used for creating lift, but used while creating lift and as such is called induced drag. When a wing gets closer than span width away from the ground, something starts to happen. The vortex is flattened as the wing gets closer to the surface. This flattening slows down the air escaping to the top, and it essentially makes the wings appear longer and more slender, and so decreasing the induced drag. This effect can be increased even more by putting on end plates on the tip of the wings, essentially stopping the air from escaping over the tips to the top of the wing. There are two home builders that are creating some excellent YouTube content involving ground effect craft. Firstly, there is Think Flight. They are a maker of the scale model flying ship. We saw this machine in the first episode as kind of a technology proof concept for the flying ship company. The craft uses an inverted delta wing and is loosely built to a lippish style shape. As we saw earlier though, it seems that it is highly reliant on the active height control to keep it stable in ground effect. Something that you don't really want when you plan to transport people in your craft. You want its shape to be self stabilizing without any help from electronics. ThinkFlight is currently building a tow behind a boat full-size craft that he rides himself. This one has tandem wings, probably for stability. They published a picture of it being towed where the comment was, not perfect by any means, but it flies and it is controllable. Then there is RC Test Flight. They actually work together with ThinkFlight to add height control to the scale models. RC Test Flight's latest content is around building a true ground effect skip machine that cannot fly its outside ground effect. He states that all the ground effects craft he has seen are actually capable of flying out of ground effect and so are actually not true skim machines. He tackles this in various ways, starting also with a tandem configuration. He states, though, that this machine is also capable of out-of-ground effects flights if enough power is applied. His latest iteration is based around a symmetric wing shape that is essentially a triangle that he theorizes does not produce any lifts out-of-ground effect, but produces ram ground effect close to the surface. This seems to work, but has to admit that the craft actually starts flying at positive angle of attack and still able to fly outside ground effect. Close, but no cigar. His models also are very reliant on the high control electronics to keep the craft in ground effect. Region, who are making the sea gliders, are now testing their quarter scale model called Squire in the wind tunnel before taking it back to the water in the coming weeks for the final push towards flight. They also moved their headquarters to Rhode Island for various reasons, one being a substantial economic incentive package, 
and the other being the location for testing and closeness to suitable testing area and talent. For now, thank you for watching One Wingspan Above. Keep in the loop by hitting the subscribe button and we'll see you here next episode.